Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. There I am. And we will have a Saturday night, a rare Saturday night Joe and Joe weather show. We always add extra shows when there's a storm system around. We'll be talking about the winter storm tonight, uh, moving through much of the interior northeast. And we'll also be talking about a new storm that's going to form in the southern plains and head to the Great Lakes. And that's going to cause big rain and wind problems in the entire eastern half of the United States. Snow in the Great Lakes, severe weather across the south and southeast. All of that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, so everything seems to be moving along with regards to how this is playing out. A large area of clouds that extends all the way back into the northern plains, but not all of this is producing precipitation. However, uh, where it's supposed to be raining or snowing, uh, the radar is doing its thing, and that's uh, in the mid-Atlantic and northeast. We've got quite a bit of rain through uh, eastern Virginia and into Maryland now and down into Delaware, some heavy precip there, and that is moving into the cold air, and snow has uh, broken out across uh, much of Pennsylvania, seeing a lot of moderate snows there, and even some heavy snow being reported at some stations. And uh, we are seeing that snow now moving into northern New Jersey, at least as of 3 o'clock, it was still moderate snow at Philadelphia, but it has changed, and it's it's just plain rain in uh, South Jersey and in Atlantic City and in Millville. Uh, probably going to see snow at the start at New York City and on Long Island, maybe in the western part of Long Island, could start off as snow. But the temperatures here are rather tenuous in the mid to upper 30s, and the air is not all that dry, so I just don't know how much cooling you'll get. It'd have to snow very hard in order to bring the temperature down to 32, uh, which often happens in cases like this. And then once the atmosphere sort of stabilizes there, you start to get the warmer air to come in off the ocean and take the temperatures back up and turn turn it to, to rain. But the cold air is holding on well in interior parts of New York State. Once you go uh, north of New York City, uh, it is uh, mostly in the lower 30s temperature-wise. And the same holds for much of uh, southern and southeastern New England, at least away from the immediate coast. So we're going to see snow develop uh, in that area sometime this evening. And then this will continue to play out. Uh, during the overnight period. Uh, As far as snow amounts go, uh, there hasn't been too much change in the overall forecast. Uh, Notice that the Weather Service has beefed up amounts uh, in the Hudson Valley north of 84, particularly in elevated areas where they're putting out some big numbers. That should be a a big surprise in those areas. Uh, Most of the snowfall uh, ride numbers rise. Let me just get this picture centered just a little bit better. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Um, It will let me, but apparently, oh, there we go. Uh, Let's just make it a little bit bigger. And you can see here uh, that, uh, you know, you just go inland, uh, start going north and northwest and north and northeast of New York City, and you start to go into the four and five and six inch amounts, and also up in uh, New England, particularly from Connecticut, from Route 84 northward and the northwestern part of the state into western Massachusetts. Also uh, in uh, eastern Massachusetts, because this area is going to probably tap a little bit of the storm's intensification when it gets southeast of, of Cape Cod uh, later tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be much room here in the way of upside. I'm more inclined to think that if the warmer air decides to go in a little bit further to the north, that amounts might wind up being a little bit lower. But uh, we're going to have to play that game by watching the uh, observations and the radars uh, as we uh, as we move forward here. Uh, the uh, WPC folks uh, still this is the probability of at least two. The really hasn't changed much at all in the last number of days with that line cutting across uh, north of Trenton in New Jersey, just north of New York City, along the south coast of Connecticut and Rhode Island into southeastern Massachusetts. If we put up the probabilities for at least eight, uh, you'll notice that it's 50 percent or higher in northwest New Jersey in the Hudson Valley north of Route 84. And you see how they've highlighted those areas where the Weather Service is going for some bigger numbers. Uh, parts of the Catskills uh, in western Massachusetts in the Berkshires and also in uh, northeastern parts of Massachusetts to southern New Hampshire and southernmost uh, Maine. 
All right, so let's run through what the models are doing, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the next weather system that is moving, that's going to be moving in uh, come Tuesday. So here's our low uh, as it heads uh, toward the northeast, uh, and the GFS uh, model has the low sitting right along the Delmarva Peninsula tonight at eight o'clock, at seven o'clock, uh, offshore New Jersey. Uh, with not much of a big high to the north, that's why the rain line moves is just north and west of the big cities of uh, Philadelphia and New York. Uh, the first round pulls out probably after 1 a.m. In, in, in areas from New York City north and west, but now we've got the low offshore and you get that little deepening going on and you start to see it fill back in. Uh, tomorrow morning and into the afternoon, particularly in southeastern New England, maybe even as far back as uh, eastern Long Island, and then the low pulls away. We see improvement on Monday, and then we've got the next round of energy now coming into the west, and that is going to lead to a storm forming in the southern plains, and it will be running uh, into the Great Lakes. Uh, come Monday night, there'll be some severe weather risks along the Gulf Coast. Uh, Tuesday, severe weather risks will be moving uh, into the southeast, and you see how the GFS develops a massive squall line there. Low pressure will be in southern Illinois. Now, for the mid-Atlantic and northeast, uh, there could be a little bit of snow in the start, in parts of the uh, northern part of the Appalachians into north-central PA. Uh, rain will start to move up the coast during Tuesday morning and early afternoon. The gradient is going to get very tight, so let's throw in some strong winds, maybe some gusts of 50 miles an hour or more, especially along the coast during Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And I think we could wind up squeezing out a couple of inches of rain in some places. Uh, by Wednesday morning, the front is gone and it'll be a windy, somewhat colder day. Those temperatures will be rising Tuesday and Tuesday night, probably getting into the 50s Tuesday night in many locations. Uh, in the northern mid-Atlantic to southern New England, and then it'll be a, a strong west wind behind it. Uh, we'll start to chill down, and then we will turn drier as we go through uh, Thursday and Friday. Might be another storm next weekend. GFS wants to take it to the lakes. The European wants to have a repeat performance of this one next weekend. At least that would be uh, the early early look on that. But you know what? Tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast, which is at 7.35 p.m., we will explore all of this. We'll start with tonight's storm, move into Tuesday's storm system, and then maybe look in the long range to see if we got to deal with this again next weekend. So we'll see you tonight at 7.35 p.m.